Hi guys, here we are on another hot, sweaty, miserable day in the summer of 2012. We have uh, made it to Tuesday, July 3rd. Uh, and as millions and millions and millions of, Mer of Americans are gassing up their gas-sucking cars to celebrate the birth of America by spewing uh, thousands of tons of, uh, of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere of America to burn this planet up. I can't think of a better way of celebrating uh, the birthday of America than doing that. There is actually, unbelievably, a, a, a tiny ray of good news coming from the gas sucking, uh, the gas sucking car front. Uh, you know, all you people who say that I never have, that I never have any good news. Finally, I have some good news because this article uh, is, is bad news to the the automakers and the and the oil companies so any news that is that is bad news for automakers and oil companies uh, is good news for him on little tail and uh, I found this article right here uh, on Yahoo News right here in the mainstream media media Reuters news service on Yahoo News America's Generation Y not driven to drive. I had never heard of the the, the uh, term Generation Y. So Generation Y is apparently by this definition is Americans aged 16 to 34. So we have a definition, Americans age 16 to 34 is the definition of Generation Y. And uh, since I don't peek into that generation very often, uh, I was glad to see this report. Uh, they talk about a 23-year-old um, who does not own a car. Um, this is a young woman uh, who, who did get her driver's license at age 18 uh, after her parents threatened to not pay for her college if she did not learn to drive. So if you really, guys, you know, if you really want to rebel against your parents, just threaten not to learn to drive, uh, you will be branded such an unbelievable anti-American rebel that uh, it will forget uh, your hairdos and rings through your nose and tattoos. Just tell your hey, mom and dad, I'm not going to learn to drive because it has come to my attention that gas-sucking cars are destroying this planet and and watch the uh, the aghast reaction from mom and dad on that piece of rebellion okay uh, in her reluctance now I'm getting to the article here. in her reluctance to drive or own a car this young lady here is typical of a certain segment of Generation Y, which is the coveted marketing demographic encompassing 80 million, that's 80 million U.S. residents between the ages of 16 and 34. Uh, there you go. Now this is, is bigger than the post-World War II baby boom generation. So they're bigger than us boomers. 80 million of these guys walking around. Uh, they're bigger than we are, but without the middle class expansion that drove the earlier group's consumer habits, 
Generation Y includes an increasing number of people for whom driving is less an American rite of passage than an unnecessary chore. And you better believe that getting that gas-sucking car was, was probably my number one American rite of passage in the year 1975 when I got my uh, driver's license. And I have held a driver's license, still do hold a driver's license, uh, what is it, 38 years later. Alright, this is, quote, that moment of realizing that you're a grown-up for, for my generation was when you got your driver's license or car, said Tony Dudzik, uh, a senior policy analyst at the Front Frontier Group, blah, blah, blah. Quote, for young people now, that moment comes when you get your first cell phone. There you go. All right. Uh, U.S. residents as a whole started driving less around the turn of the 21st century. Huh. I wonder if that's true. And young people have propelled this trend according to the federal government's National Household Travel Survey. I wonder how much of our tax money was spent on that. From 2001 to 2009, the average annual number of vehicle miles traveled by people aged 16 to 34 dropped 23%, leading this trend of reduced. Uh, so in, in, in their age group, uh, their average annu annual number of vehicle miles they drove dropped from 10,300 to 7,900. The survey found Generation Yers, also known as Millennials, tend to ride bicycles, take public transit, and rely on virtual media. More than a quarter of Millennials, 26%, this is 20 million. 20 million young Americans lacked a driver's license in 2010, which is more than I can say for myself, up five percentage points from 2000, the Federal Highway Administration reported. Hallelujah. 20 million potential gas-sucking car drivers do not drive because they don't own a gas-sucking car. And this, I must say, this is probably the single best piece uh, of, of, of good news I have received in the year 2012. But of course, this is biting into my, uh, you know, to my job description as a doomsday prophet and an environmental alarmist. Uh, well, this doesn't surprise me. The next statistic, at the same time, older people are driving more than ever. Researchers at the University of Michigan found in 2008, those age 70 and older made up the single largest group of drivers on the road. More than 10% of drivers out there are over 70, higher than those in their 40s or 50s. And uh, even though I am no longer included in that, uh, you know, people in their 70s are more likely to drive than those in their 40s and 50s who are more likely to drive than those in their 20s and early 30s. So you see the more, I, 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 it, this is an encouraging trend. All right, the Michigan researchers offered a few reasons why, why uh, younger drivers hesitate to get behind the wheel. Number one reason cited was the high, co the high cost of owning, fueling, and maintaining a car. 
that was the number one reason that I cited is just how damn expensive owning, maintaining, and fueling these sons of bitches are in uncertain economic times. Uh, next on the list was the convenience of electronic communication, meaning that uh, you can do so much on this computer that you used to need to use a car for. And I'm just going to, in my own weak defense, all you trolls, the broken record trolls who call Hammon Little Tail a damn hypocrite for uh, talking about fossil fuels uh, because I still own a laptop computer made out of plastic. Guys, uh, I will say this in my defense and in the, in, in the defense of all these young people who do not drive cars but use, use uh, plastic laptop computer, computers as one reason to not have to use the cars. I assure you guys that, this, that these laptop computers, the amount of fossil fuels going into the laptop computers have saved a hell of a lot more use of fossil fuels from not having to use a gas sucking car than they use. I follow me here that for every person who uses the little bit of fossil fuels inherent in a laptop computer to stop using a gas sucking car, the, the net gain to this planet is the net loss of, uh, of fossil fuels. And so you can take all your trolling and, uh, and, and keep it for, uh, for mermaids. Oh boy. Uh, and then, but, in, but uh, environmentalists, in, in, you know, not driving a car for environmental reasons, it doesn't say where that, it, it was down the list my reason for not drive my number one reason for not driving a car uh it was down the list and they closed uh with uh the young lady they started with uh quote i don't know if i consider myself an environmentalist but i do care about the impact that i have there you go. Uh, so I, if you care about the impact that you have on this planet, I guess I will call you a uh, an environmentalist. More than you. All right, it, this young lady. In case you're watching this, you are more of an environmentalist than those people who do call themselves an environmentalist and continue to drive that gas-sucking car. Anyone who does not drive a gas-sucking car, whether or not they call themselves an environmentalist, I will do it for them. They are more... Anyone who does not drive a gas-sucking car for any reason whatsoever is more of an environmentalist and then those hypocrites and those two-faced hypocrites that continue to drive a car and consider themselves an environmentalist. If you drive a gas-sucking car and call yourself an environmentalist, you are a two-faced hypocrite. Yes, I also am a two-faced Hypocrite, I guess, because I have this computer and I will get into the passenger seat of one of my friend's cars who have my friends who have not woken up to the fact about that. So, but I am not as much of a hypocrite as you are, nanny nanny boo boo. You're a bigger hypocrite than I am. And I will close this rant the way this, uh, this, uh, article closes related videos on Yahoo News 
was news from the AAA, American Automobile Association, titled, Travelers Are Hitting the Road Early for the July 4th holiday, which I guess officially starts today at 6 o'clock. And I'm not going to sit here and do a rant on this. All, we, uh, is all you need to do is the first sentence. We are just days away from the 4th of July holiday, and AAA says that traffic will be worse this year than in 2011 as more people plan to travel this holiday by car. And uh, I will be taking the bus to the uh, fireworks show here in Austin, Texas tomorrow. So I guess I will not be part of that statistic, uh, at least tomorrow. We will see how my hypocrisy plays out in the next few weeks as I consider a road trip in my friend's gas-sucking car. But uh, for now, I will say... Bye, guys.